welcome back to my channel. Excuse my voice. I'm a little bit sick right now, but I just wanted to say I'm so excited to be back. I am making a separate video kind of like talking to you guys a little bit about things that have changed, things that I'm planning to do in 2017. This video here will be on the makeup look that I'm wearing on that video, but I wanted to make two separate videos. One to kind of catch you guys up on what's been going on in my life and why I took a really big break after um, our honeymoon to Italy. But for this video, I wanted to go ahead and do a look using my new Morphe 35F palette. And, oh, there it is, right there. And I got this for Christmas from my husband. It was on my list, of course. I wanted to get it. It is so beautiful. It has a lot of shimmery colors. And then the rest down here are all matte. So if you guys want to see how I created this look, please keep on watching. Thank you guys again for being so patient with me. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye! So I already have my eyebrows on. I will do a separate video on how I do my eyebrows because they are the death of me right now. I'm going to go ahead and grab the Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay in the color Light and I'm just going to use this as my primer. I always use concealers for primers. After that I'm just grabbing my BH Cosmetic um, Contour Palette and I'm just using the lightest bone color. You can use any eyeshadow that's matte and light to set that concealer. Next, I'm going in with my Morphe 35F palette, and I'm grabbing the third eyeshadow on the bottom row, which is like an orangey brown, and I'm going to be using that as my transition color. The brush that I'm using is by Mikasa Beauty. It's in the number E300, and I really liked it to hold the pigment in or to put the pigment on my transition, but it wasn't blending like I wanted to, so I needed to grab my MAC 229, nope, just kidding, 224 brush to blend out. Next, I'm going in with the fourth color on the bottom row, which is a darker, chalkier brown, and I'm going to use that right on the center of my crease just to define it a little bit more. I'm still using the Mikasa E300 brush to put the pigment in, and then I'm going to go in there to blend it out with my M506 Morphe brush. Of course, I had to show you guys my new little coffee mug. I've been drinking coffee a lot more now, and it's cute. It's pink and gold, and it says wifey on it. Next, I'm grabbing my Mikasa E230 brush, and I'm going to be using this like really dark greenish brown shimmery color to add all over the lid. I'm really sorry, I don't know how to describe colors, but that's how I see it. It's like greenish, olive green, brown. <laughs> so I'm going to apply that all over the lid. Then with my fingers, I'm grabbing the third color and the fifth color from the third row, which is like a gold color. And I'm just going to put that on the lid as well to just make it a little bit more goldier. The other one was just a little bit too dark. This will just reflect on the light. Then I'm going to go ahead and just grab a makeup wipe and wipe underneath my eyes and clean it up a little bit. And then with my NYX Matte Liquid Liner, I'm going to go ahead and start lining my lid part. The way that I do my liner is I line the lid, then I flick out the wing, and then from the wing I connect it to the center point of my lid and create a triangle. After the triangle, I go ahead and just fill it up and it becomes a wing. The hard part is not creating the wing, the hard part is matching the wing to the other side. Remember, they're sisters, not twins. Then with the same Naked Concealer by Urban Decay, and I'm going to clean up under the eyeliner so that way it can look very sharp and very catty. And it doesn't matter if it's lighter than your skin because you're going to put foundation on so it's going to cover that right up. I'm going to do my eyelashes off camera because again, it's the death of me. I'm just going to apply a couple of coats of Kiko Milano Mascara. And the lashes that I'm going to be using are by Dodo Lashes and it's in style D301. And I do have a discount code for these lashes and they're so good. They're already very affordable lashes. I think they have some for like $5 and you can reuse them. So definitely go and check them out. I'm going to grab my Maracuja Oil by Tarte Cosmetics and I'm just going to apply this all over my face. I like to put this just to hydrate. My skin has been very textured lately and very dry, so I like to really, really prep and oil my face down. I used to use this uh, Clinique Moisture Surge about a year ago and I ended up getting it for Christmas again, so I had to use it. It reminded me of why I loved it. It's very silky, very smooth, and it creates a very smooth barrier on your face. I'm going to grab my L'Oreal Pro Glow Infallible Foundation and I use number 105 and number 108 and I mix half and half of both 
I'm kind of in a weird stage of color right now because I haven't tanned, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply that all over my face using a foundation brush and then blending it out with my Real Techniques uh, beauty sponge. I like to mix a little bit of this Hydrating Essence by Kaplan MD and I put a little bit on my hand and then I grab a little bit more foundation and I mix it together and I apply it to the highest points of my face just to kind of let that area glow a little more and to make it a little dewier. Plus, like I said, I have a lot of texture in that area so it just helps hydrate it. And then I just go ahead and grab the same sponge and blend it out. I apologize if you guys can hear noises in the background while I'm doing this voiceover. It's just somebody is like cutting wood or something out there. Then I'm going to grab my Pro Conceal by LA Girl and this is the color corrector in the color yellow. And I like to apply this right in the inner corner of under my eyes just to brighten up that area. Then I grab my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer number 25 and I apply that the rest of the way. I draw a little triangle but I kind of spread it out to where I don't draw defined lines to where it's going to make it easier for me to blend out. With the same Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light, I'm going to put that on the bridge of my nose just because it's the lightest concealer that I have and I want the bridge of my nose to be brighter and I'm also going to apply that where I'm going to highlight on my cheek area so that way it can really pop out when the light reflects on it. I'm using a Micro Mini Beauty Blender to do my nose and then I'm just going to grab the same Real Technique sponge and blend out under my eyes. Then I'm going to grab this translucent uh, setting powder that I got. It's by Airspun and I, you can get this at any drugstore I believe. I got this at Walgreens. And I'm just going to apply with the Micro Beauty Blender and I'm going to start baking. That means that I'm just going to go ahead and let this sit for a little bit but I actually figured a little bit of an easier way to do it. Instead of letting it sit for several minutes what I am going to grab is my Kiko Milano setting spray and I'm just going to apply the powder all over the highest points and the brightest points of my face and I'm going to set it and then I'm going to go ahead and dust it right off. This is just an easier method so that way you don't have to wait so long baking. You're just going to go ahead and dust all the excess off and everything that was set with the spray will stay on your face. So I just figured this is an easier method and it's been working for me. Then I'm going to grab my Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder and this is in the tone 140 and this is just a deeper finishing powder that I'm going to push on to my face just in case that airspun powder made me look a little pale or ashy. This is just to warm up my face a little bit. Then I'm going to go in with my Cargo Cosmetics Matte Bronzer and this is just a very settled, ashy and slightly warm bronzer just to kind of prep the face to contour. Then I'm grabbing my Benefit Hula Bronzer and my MAC 109 brush to contour. This is my favorite brush to contour. It's literally the oldest brush that I own. I like how the bristles on it are short which allows a lot of product to compact inside of it and then I like how it's round so it allows me to blend at the same time as shaping the contour so really good brush to use. With the same bronzer I'm going to grab my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush and I'm going to contour around my nose. Next I'm grabbing my favorite blush. This is Luminosa by Milani. This has been my favorite blush for like years. I use it on every skin type. It's peachy, it's baked, it's pretty, it has gold little shimmers in it. It's really just perfect for my skin tone and it's really affordable. Next I'm grabbing a highlighter by Makeup Revolution London. It's the Vivid Bake Highlight in Radiant Lights. Now some people I read that they don't like it because it could be a little chalky, it doesn't spread right, it just lays on top of the skin, but you know, I don't really have nothing bad to say about it. It's really nice. I'm going to go ahead and grab my Micro Beauty Blenders again and some of the Translucent Airspun Powder and I'm going to shape out the apples of my cheeks. I just find this method really, really helps to find my cheekbones and also define my cheek area especially because I have a really round face. Then I'm just grabbing the lightest shimmery shadow on the palette, which is the first one, and I'm just going to put that around the tear duct area. Then I'm grabbing this matte, very chocolatey red brown to make the green contacts pop out. Yes, contacts, you know they're fake. And I'm just going to put that on the bottom of my eyes. After dusting away that translucent powder, I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara on my lower lashes using the same Kiko Milano mascara. And then I'm going to apply my lip liner. The lip liner I'm using is by MAC. It's called Strip Down. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply it like normal. <laughs> then I'm using the NYX, I 
think it's called soft lip matte cream or something like that in London. Sometimes these things just have really long names. Then I'm just going to set my entire face using my Kiko Milano setting spray and that's going to complete today's look. Again, I want to thank you for being so patient with me. I hope you enjoyed this video and please give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave any comments below if you have any questions and please do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you on my next video.